everybody, welcome back to Starfield. Where we're playing more, you know. And we're, we're playing more Starfield today. We're gonna go be some robbers with Barrett. <clears throat> I chose not to go to that one place. I, I figured, eh, we, we don't need to go there. I did try running through here and trying to find a merchant. I, I couldn't find a merchant that would sell like a weapon to me. I'm gonna probably just look that up and figure it out. Cause I need I need ammo. I need to stock up on ammo. Not as convenient, but riding right after you're eating can give you stomach aches. And you chose to do that, not me. My character does not eat. Wee, 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 wee. Oh. I heard that wee. I uh, leveled it up, I now have 10% you know more health. I didn't ask you. It's good to be home, right? Okay. Scan me. No. Need some work done? Anything I can help you with? Sure. How about it? Now I'm just kind of modifying my ship because I can't really afford to get another one. Oh, I can make you better. Yes. That's better shield damage. This does a lot better shield damage. I actually only left my phone up. I was watching TikTok earlier. Damage, yellow damage. Oh, right. Mm. Any fire rate max power? I mean, down here, the actually, this one seems really good. It gets extra damage. This. Better fire rate, better fire rate, better fire rate, better fire rate. Electromagnetic damage, okay. Yeah, my, my ship is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. I'm sure you can find something you like. <clears throat> I kind of like this one a lot, actually. I want to be able to get how much I need? 265. Oh, shit. Been upgraded. I have something for you. Just 
just here for How a chat. You, Good to see you. Farewell. Here, this is for you. Souvenirs are fun to pick up, but better to give. Enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. <clears throat> I almost didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use for it. Whew, glad I did. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Is mining on the schedule today? He just gave me crabs. Now I'm itchy. Thanks, Barrett. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. 
Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh yes, the rock. He's not selling it. But if you want to hear him laugh in your face personally, go right ahead. Yeah, we'll check with him directly if you don't mind. Go on then. All right, well. Big shit. Welcome to Petra's Palace. Firefight breaks out. Everyone on board is gonna join in just for fun. You understand? about camp take a break let's chat i've been meaning to thank you for helping me with the crimson fleet before i could have handled it myself of course but it's good working with a team good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. <clears throat> so many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. You know... I doubt many people like that. We're not connected physically, but we are socially. As humans, we depend on each other to survive. The universe <clears throat> is vast and cold and endlessly dangerous. Even if you found a planet to settle on your own, someone helped you get there. Speaking of which... Your work with Constellation has been impressive. Truly impressive. Neither do I. Yet I muster forth. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities. And a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. That's right. But for the choices we made, oh, I it feels it. just a <clears throat> bit closer, doesn't it? Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored <clears throat> my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. All right, then. I don't know 
why Petrov pays for all this junk. But at least he pays. Yeah, well, that was a loot. Go now, I know which way I'm going. Ah, it was up the stairs. Up the stairs. Always up the stairs. Bunch of friends. <laughs> Talk to Petro. His gloriousness will guide you. I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. We have visitors. <laughs> Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. The artifact? Ah, you must mean my latest curio. I have never seen anything like it. Intricate pattern details, a metal that feels soft to the touch, yet bears not one hint of wear or tear. Ah, you are out of luck, my new friend. I cannot part with it. I know, it's a fickle man who falls in love so easily. But what can I say? Mi amore. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. Oh, ho, you do have a point. Wow. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament <clears throat> of splendor. Why do you need you know, a special vault? If it were up to well, me, all I can we say is that even the greatest the collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, Thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my friends is painful. That is the price of security, huh? Okay, Sarah. Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a demo celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters, and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. Okay, then. itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing, devoid of any such enlightenment.
Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off! I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. We're not pirates, Petrov. We're explorers. Who might do a bit of piracy on the side as a hobby sometimes. I'm afraid not. I'm easy in all things, except my collection. Hmm. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. Uh, would it help if I said we needed it for scientific research? Captain's Last word morning. is good. Done! Stand down, everyone. Let the nice Let's pirate go. pass. Get out now. Alright. Just now I'm taking Talk your stuff you. with me. Get out now. I'll, I'll, I'll be leaving when I'm good and ready. Now, you don't, you don't need this, right? If I was able to unlock a master lock, I'd be able to get that. What do you got on you? Just need to find the next. I accidentally spammed it. All right. Why more animals didn't involve pockets? Thank you. Good question. Captain says you're okay. You're okay. Damn pirate! Get what you came for and leave. You know, if that were the case, I'd be taking everything, which I kind of am. So yeah, you're right. Petrov, thank you. I wonder how much clear. Petrov will need to pay to recover from all this. So what? Oh. We're just going to let you loot the ship? 
Yeah. Filthy pirate. We're not gonna forget this. Damn it, Petrov. I was just getting warmed up. Thank you for the ammo. Much appreciated. You're lucky the captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd say we go a few more rounds. Yep, thank, thank you for the ammo, everybody. I'm just gonna take the med pack. Definitely fall in line with our needs. 
I also see that you have mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, oh, you know let of. me introduce myself. <clears throat> my name is Commander Kibwe Ikande. I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. So I suggest you change your attitude. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for long. years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can <clears> get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Alright, move. If you have any questions, save them for Commander Ikande. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Going in all alone, and fighting a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Yeah, I'm, I'm not waiting on that. <laughs> in a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Good. 
Just shut up and do as you're told. Here we go. <clears throat> Pardon. The way this dude is standing. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. SysDef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're <clears throat> taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation <clears throat> proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. I Remember, get out the ship. this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC SysDef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing, money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing, so I'm warning you not to get lured into their <clears throat> trap. Think you can handle that? That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to, hear. to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. Excuse me. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United <clears throat> Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. As you were. Oh, all right. All right. We don't have a lot old. of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. <clears throat> if you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? You better make it. Because Commander Akande cashed in all his chips to get this operation off the ground. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates <clears throat> left behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you would understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement 
for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. We'll be here if you need us. Oh, I can't pick Bucket. Okay. Yes? Howdy. <laughs> board my ship and go to the... well, Oh, I think I might have hit a cross, but I don't Welcome know if back. I can actually go here. Slowly turn, there we go. Loading. Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starborn, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. you what did you do to our <clears throat> friends they call me the hunter and now that i'm here your part in glimpsing the unity is over i'm already on my way say goodbye to your friends it won't be long forget about us <clears throat> That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it! Vladimir's right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Look, I get it but our best chance is staying here. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I, I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. If 
If you're going to yeah. leave, I'll be barricading the door on your way out. Won't be able to let you back in for anything. Right back at you. <clears throat> Maybe I can catch him. I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get outdrawn. Back at you. I don't think I'm gonna be moving around too much for a bit. But I'll be all right. Oh, thank the stars beyond. You're all right. Bad habit. <laughs> now, let's get a move on. What? You're alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. Okay, I'm going to probably need some fucking assistance. Where? They all already on the shoot or something. Let's go. I'll be fine. Keep going. We need to get to the lodge. Stop the starboard. You are correct.
might appear to only be seriously damaged instead of critically damaged. Fortunate that you are likewise relatively undamaged is also preferable to the alternative. Barrett, Barrett, it's Sarah. Hey, there's nothing you can do now. It's almost gone. Barrett, we're going to keep going. We'll finish this adventure you started. It's okay. Be at peace. He's... Oh, he's gone. We can't change anything now. Come on. <clears throat> no, Elon. It took you long enough. No, well, she might still be in danger. There's a secret door in the basement. Leads right to the well district. That would have been the safest route for her to run. It went <clears throat> quickly after you left. We held him off while Noel escaped through the basement. There's a door that leads to the well district. Uranium? I do. I have three bolts of uranium. Thank God, thank God. I still have the artifacts, but where do we take them? Oh, oh there you are. I wasn't expecting you to run to the eye. No, you weren't. You! You're not getting the artifacts. <laughs> yes. Let's see if they can slip from my grasp this time, shall we? Definitely kill him, but he he worked. Right. Let's try this. Don't tell me you're glitched out.
Ok, no se ha dado cuenta. Let's talk to Vladimir. 
Let's get Vladimir's take on all this. You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The lodge. So, we slip from the Starborn's grasp, but not before taking a stab straight in the heart. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... Oh, he, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fridge, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Hope your walls are high, just in case the Starborn get lucky and find the spot to do the breach and storm. Here, keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after. You can now build the iron millet on your ship at your, or at your outpost. Okay, to build the. Alright. Noel and Vladimir are right. The artifacts need a new home. We can't move home at hearth. But we can at least move the artifacts. Hopefully, the Starborn can't track this. Our millery, as they call it. Building it on Jameson is not the best of ideas. What if we go to another solar system? Oh. I do have an outpost here. Yet.
How do I? We can't take the artifacts back to the lodge. Let's find another place. Exactly. That's why we're here. find everything I need in between episodes uh yeah so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed like it with the bell I don't know what this video is going to be titled yet I'll figure something out but uh hypothermia all right isn't that lovely I'm out.